Alright lads, it's CFC Vlog here, welcome to yet another CFC match review. Um, this is the Football 4 5 game, and today I'm going for another double upload. I'm hoping to upload the CFC match review and the weekend roundup. So hopefully that will be happening. There's definitely going to be double recording whether I get around to uploading both of them is another story. So let's get straight into the match review, and it was Charlton vs Wigan. Yesterday it was a Sunday match as um as we're going to win Europa League on Thursday so they left so we therefore played them on a Sunday football four or five are uh, the tradition yearly tradition that Charlton of um that Charlton always do it's quite it's like, it's quite a good scheme this year it's actually for six pound and one pound going for charity going to charities getting split between the capital child. Help for a child and the Charlton Athletic Community Trust. So that's uh, two very good causes. And you know, it's very, it's very, I see a, a really, really a lot of people down there at the Valley. It's 23,000, over 23,500 in the end. I mean, that doesn't sound much if you're a Premier League club, but considering our tent, our full, um, our Full capacity is about twenty seven thousand. It is quite a lot, but that's so that's near enough sold out. Um, and it was you know Wigan fans didn't bring many either. So if the Wigan fans brung a few, brung a few more, we could have easily made it to twenty four thousand. You know, and if I'm for uh, but anyway, it was uh despite being a nil nil, I thought it was a quite a good game. You know, um, both teams had quite a good chance. Both teams played good football at times. Um, I think it was the referee was actually dark. Well, look what must be said. I'm not gonna say that he cost us the game, and he did because he was quite bad both ways. But he was just terrible ref, referee. And you know, we had a few chance in the first half. We had a few chances. Um, unfortunately, Kermgren went off injured. Fairly, well, he didn't go off injured. He got injured, kind of at the 15 minute mark, and then eventually he actually went off injured. I think it was more like it was kind of going to at the half hour mark that he actually ended up going off. Um then but the first big chance the game was did for Charlton. Um it was Clemens actually head on to Bradley Pritchard who cut inside onto his left foot. It was a fairly weak shot at the goalkeeper in the end. Um but it was a good attacking move. Um then we another huge chance as um uh, came from a corner as a near enough point black head header from Richard Wood produced a fantastic save from um the young goalkeeper Lee Nichols, I think his name is, who um came in because Scott Carson got injured in the warm ups. So that was a and that was a really, really good save. Um in the first half Wigan didn't really threaten much in, uh, didn't really threaten the goal much. There wasn't they didn't have many attacks, they had a couple of half decent attacks. Um and then in the second half, they had a, a, sim, a similar kind of corner where it, just, it I think it was McCain's head out, uh, smashed off the crossbar. Um, and then the, the incident that really made the referee a terrible referee in the end was um, after a, I can't remember uh, it, probably, it wasn't the same corner as the header came the header came from where it hit the bar, but they had a corner which we uh, went on the counter track on. Uh, Sordell looked to knock it past um, his man. Who actually handballed it when he was last man? The referee gave a free kick, but didn't give anything else. In my opinion, if it's a last man, it wasn't a deliberate. I'm not gonna go ahead and say it's a deliberate handball, but in my opinion, it's stopping if it's stopping the ball from its destination, it's still and it's last man. It should still be a red card. I don't know whether. I mean, what do you guys think? Because it's it. In my opinion, that should have been. And I don't know how the only player who got booked in the whole match was one of our was uh. One of our players, because there was a, several occasions where uh, I think that a Wigan player merited at least a booking. You know how uh, James McLean got off the pitch without a yellow card is unbeknownst to me. But you know, uh, a draw was probably a fair result because Nick Powell should have scored later in the second half. You don't know how he missed. It was easy. I think it would have been easier to miss to score than it would to be missed. But um, 
I feel like a draw was a fairly fair result. It could have gone either way. Both teams had a couple of chances. Just lacked that final bit of um, that final bit of quality to get in the back of the net. Um, which has been kind of the motto of Charlton over the last two or three weeks. Just we lacking that little that final little bit of something which we're getting back in there and I thought that would return with Kermgun but obviously Kermgun going off injured pretty early on in the match which is really unfortunate. Um I think uh I can't really fault anyone even Swordell had a half decent game which is a rare for him at Charlton when I don't remember him actually having a good game. And he actually had quite a good game. Uh, Wilson nearly cost us the game a couple of times, despite going on a really good run at one point. But he, I like Wilson, but he's, I don't think he's good to be a right back just because he's, he, he when he, he makes so many mistakes, and when you make a mistake as a right back, it can often lead to a, a player being thrown goal, a team being thrown goal, and that happened a couple of times with with Wilson. So when the sooner Sonny gets back, the better. And I don't think Wilson's a bad option to have right mid. Um, and that's really about it with the match, guys. And I guess, and um, if you leave your comments in, in the comments section below, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Cheers.